they still make that one or not? Oh, never heard of them. Yeah, it was uh, a like uh, So today we are up here in Union County, Tennessee, headed to a cave that has a lot of history in it. This cave was mined for saltpeter. And supposedly there's some of the remnants from that still left in the cave. So let's go check it out. So the river is down here below us. This cave we're going in used to have a lower entrance where people accessed it during the Civil War to mine it for saltpeter. So the entrance that we're gonna go in is a vertical entrance up here on the hill. Now they have since flooded the lower entrance as part of this lake that they made. So you can no longer access it from the bottom. The only way to get in is to repel. And here is the vertical entrance. So we're wondering, there's an old cable here. And we're wondering if this may have been the way they got down in this pit when they were mining for saltpeter. If so, that would have been pretty scary. So we forgot our rope pads. So we're having to use a makeshift one with a pack right there. Oh, that's pretty. It's really got a lot of moss on it. What a sloping down here. Ooh. All right, so I just made it down here to the bottom of this pit and we're gonna go check this yeah, cave so out.
wound up this rope. And then there's this gigantic room over here. Here's an area where some cave pearls are starting to form. Let's just check this room out before we go on to the rest of the cave. There's a little hobbit hole over here. Let's go check it out. goes down to another pit. So at one point there was um, a ladder in this cave that was made from um, some other, some wood actually. This could be some remnants from that saltpeter mining. You can see some more remnants. All of this is wood remnants from the saltpeter vats. You can see they would have dug all this out, getting all this dirt that's uh, rich with um, the bat guano. And they would just go in all different places to dig out the dirt. Some more wood there. This was a really big log that they had in here. You can see for scale. They would have dug all this dirt out. Oh, you're right, this you probably can, held the trough. Well, you know, you can see this one here. This is, see, see how rounded out it is? It's got the holes in it. Oh, stone. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, look at the steps. So you can actually see some uh, man-made steps right here that they would have made when they were in here mining for the saltpeter. You can see they had their trough running through this area here that was probably bringing the water back to the vats. There's more evidence of the of that there. You can see it's like a dug trough, so they would have hollowed out uh, a big piece of wood. There's more steps going down right here. They spent a lot of time in this cave mining for saltpeter. Oh wow, and so this is the room where all the vats were. Wow, this is probably some of the most uh, well-preserved saltpeter vats that I have ever seen through here. Look at all that. That's still standing. So do you know what they did here? So what they did is they would build um, basically a box, an open box, and then they would go throughout the cave and they would dig up the dirt they would bring the dirt and then put it into the box, the open top box. So the dirt is rich with bat guano, mm -hmm. uh, which calcium nitrate. So then they would fill it up with dirt. Then they would bring the water in. So they probably had like water troughs with all that water's dripping. Mm -hmm. And they would bring the water back here. They'd fill this up with water. And then they'd stir it, let it sit for a few days. And then they would drain the water off the bottom. And at that point, what they're extracting out is that calcium nitrate from the bat guano. They would then take the water, they would boil it off, they'd add wood ash to it to turn it into potassium nitrate, 
boil it all off, and then they're left with like a powder, like a, um, the potassium nitrate. Then they would take that, and that's what they would make ammunition out of. Okay. Pretty neat. Babe, yeah, so, over, yeah, I so this, were, I think they were more triangular. Yeah, they were kind of like a no, V shape. I've, I've never, really I've never seen them this, well, like, there's a complete one up here. with all this, um, like 100% complete. oh, wow, look at that trough. Yeah, they're all over the ground, It's really cool. You can see how they hollow, hollowed those out. Yep, and they would leach it out the bottom right there. It was a really nasty job. Harsh work environments. Wow, there's a ton of them in here. There's Look at that one. Look at that. It's pretty amazing that these are still here 150 years later. Wow, they just had tons and tons of these vats in here. Have we found any uh, markings on the wall? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty well preserved. Just really, really cool. You can see this was the trough here. You can see how they the water would leach off the bottom of that vat with all of that calcium nitrate. You can see it on this one too, how the trough, how they would drain the water off the bottom. Mark, I'll look back in there and not telling Mark. Yeah. Another... I know, where are all the, ta where did they keep the tally marks? So every time they would leach a vat, um, they would make a tally mark so they could keep count. Wow, this is just amazing. Wow, that one is really, really well preserved. This one. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> Wow, yeah, you can see where they carved out pieces of the wood to fit. There's a bunch of stoke marks on the wall where they would have had some torches for lighting in here. So you can see here that triangular shape. So all the, you know, the water and the uh, calcium nitrate would go down to the bottom before they would drain it off. Y'all, this is pretty amazing. This is not something you really see a lot of. Yeah, because they pretty much had to live in this cave to build all of this. I don't know. It's a pretty crude building, I think. It doesn't look... I see why. I see how they they did the vats. They they stuck them in and they put another one in between the slot. Like there would be like a board right here. Every other, another yeah. Board. So you can let's go through this area. Well, the, so they dug it all out over here and then drug all like somehow brought all this back through. Is this the duck under? <laughs> the crawl, crawl through duck under. <coughs> even wood all the way down there. There's even some. We ain't gonna find anything. Just imagine doing that 150 years ago. With a with just a, a torch candle. or a candle. I don't know. Some more stoke marks on the walls through here. I guess where Robbie went was the duck under too. 
Some more stoke marks. Pretty dry. Yeah, definitely very dry. Okay. Oh, yeah, my little passageway. There was plenty more for him to dig. Yeah. Yeah, nice little walkway through here. Oh yeah, so this is bat guano. Right there. Newer bat guano. It's a really special cave, y'all. Yeah, cool. Nice. Oh, yeah. This is called anastomosis. So when this cave was full of water, the water created that, washed it out. We're just continuing to follow this path in this cave here. Some more of the stoke marks right there. There's like a little slab right here. Oh, wow. Huh. Goes way down. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah, it's definitely a warm cave. Don't push me off. But... Yeah. <laughs> no, you want me to send me. She's been dreaming of that all day. I know. She's like, I oh, can't wait for him to get near the edge. Just send them. It doesn't go very much further. So this goes down, it's like a climb down for like 30 feet, and then the cave just ends here. So we're not going to climb down there. There's just really no need for it. But we're going to go back here and take a look at these um, saltpeter vats again. It's a nice little walkway in here. So this is called the digging room on the map. So they would come in here and dig out a lot of this dirt, take it back through that crawlway, put it in those saltpeter vats to, to leach out that calcium nitrate. Alright, so I'm going to go back over here to the saltpeter vats, get a little more video just to show you um, how special this is, y'all, to see all of this in this cave from 150 years ago during the Civil War. Could you imagine doing this 150 years ago with nothing but like a torch? So they would come out and their torches would hit this wall and you could see all of the marks from where that right there, you can see some of that burnt wood right there. And then we're back at all of these vats. Just look at this y'all. This was all done. 150 years ago during the Civil War when they were mining these caves for saltpeter. There's another vat right here. When I say vat, that's V as in Victor, V-A-T. Some people call them hoppers. Just simply amazing that all of these remains are still here in the darkness of this cave. Hundred and fifty years later. Simply amazing.
another one that's still in pretty good shape. So you can see right here, this would be the bottom. And you can see that trough where that water with the uh, saltpeter would leach out of that vat. And then they would collect it and boil it off. This area um, with like some type of pickaxe. You can see that right there. That evidence. It's where they were getting all the. So cool. Really, really cool. Here's one that's just kind of almost rotted away, leaching into this right here. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really cool to see all of this. Mm -hmm. That's neat. These saltpeter vats are just in amazing shape. See the trough right here. Where all of that leached out. This trough, just for scale. Look how big that was. And then it would leach out of the vat. The water would come down right there and then go into this trough. Look at this. It was built 150 years ago. Have you seen them do that? Like uh, where they make it with a, it's a, like a big broad head axe, and they uh, they take a, and whack it with like a hammer. All right, really, really cool to see all this, y'all. Super, super cool. Going back up these steps. were hand dug. Some more pieces under here. A couple more right through there. So we're gonna go in this little hobbit hole here. There's actually a pit over there, and supposedly there's some ladder remains down there, so we're going to go check those out. That was a good toss. Send it, man. There's a lot of wood down there. Oh, shit. Yeah, so apparently they had a ladder down this passage that they would climb down. I see it. I see it. Thank you.
Oh, wow, I see that wood up there y'all were talking about up there. It's like, did people walk high? This rope is a little stiff. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I'm moving. I gotta get this down the rest of the pit, though. I see rope grooves where people have been repelling down here. Right there. Look at all that wood when this was a ladder. They had a ladder down coming down here. of this pit and you can see these are remnants from when they had a wooden ladder coming down into this pit where people would climb up and down it that is pretty brave and crazy okay so there, there's the rope right there and then there are these remains more remains of what was once the ladder going down into this pit. And this is how we get down here. We repel it. None of this wooden ladder stuff. They were pretty brave 150 years ago doing this with torches and the vertical safety gear. Deep cave. Robbie went down that? Yeah. He said this goes down to the lake level. Should bring a rope. Maybe. Here, here. Take this rope with you. Go. I can't reach it. Oh yeah, that's gonna help for sure getting back up. That's it right there. Okay. Well, this is messy down here. Mm -hmm. Muddy. It's getting dry again. Oh wow, it's big.
Oh yeah, look at the water rings. That's cool. This flood. I bet, I bet if you come here during the summer, it's got water all in it. Oh, when they raise the lake levels, you mean? Yeah. Back here from the salt peter vat. Down here in this lower level. It's all pretty much destroyed down here. Jason says he can see the lake, the lake over here. So we believe we have found um, the possible way they came in this There's cave the during the Civil War. Um, we're at Robbie, they may the lower level, up, and you can see that they that's... They came up somewhere over there. That's the lake down there. Okay, I'm going to start making my way back out of this cave. Ooh. Let's get my safety out. Climbing this rope. Ooh. We're we're using it to come back up this slope, but um, Robbie and Jace are down here. I was going to start climbing. It's really cool down here. Do you need the rope or is it just a hand line, really? I'm using it as a hand line. It's, you don't need it coming down this slope, but coming back up, you'll see why. <laughs> it's pretty muddy. Um, but we found a little lower passage down here where it looks like lake water. Oh, yeah. Um, you can see the rings where the lake comes up. It's pretty cool. Um, they're They're was some vats down here but they've obviously gotten destroyed by the water I want to get down yeah i know it's it's you're gonna get trashed down here if you haven't gotten trashed yet oh well i'm just gonna turn around then <laughs> well i mean it's I'm trashed only, as I, I mean i say trashed but i'm only slightly trashed at the time current moment that's the most mud right there but coming back up this might be a little more. <laughs> Jeez. I ain't kidding. How much passage is down there? Oh, it's big. It's worth going to see. It's pretty big. It's surprising how big right. it is over oh, there. Yep, go ahead. Up. Yep, go ahead. Yeah. Climbing out of 
this. So you can see here, that's all remnants from their ladder that they used to climb up into this upper passage in this cave. Look at that. It's pretty cool right there to see all that. So you can see all the remnants there. And people were crazy. Very brave. It's messy down there. <laughs> we found the lake level. So we believe they came in from the bottom. Really? And they built a ladder up this. Well, that makes more sense. There are saltpeter vats down there, but they're ruined. You can see, um, like on the wall, lines from the lake level as it rises and lowers with the, oh, wow. the dam. So that so, could be dangerous to be down there at a certain time. I bet during the summertime, <laughs> you can only go so far. Mm -hmm. made it back over here to the bottom of the entrance pit. Watch out for that little salamander. Oh wow, there's a bunch of them. I just made it back out of the pit and what a wonderful experience this has been at this cave today we got to see some pretty amazing saltpeter remains from where they used this cave during the Civil War to mine for saltpeter to make ammunition while they were fighting the battle thanks for watching my video if you like my content which is outdoor recreation here in the heart of tag which is short for Tennessee Alabama and Georgia. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and happy caving. So back at the entrance, if I had to guess for this cable, they probably used it to haul stuff in and out from where the saltpeter vats are in relation to the pit and where the lower entrance is um, down there on the lake level. They probably just used that as a haul line and they accessed this cave from down there and made their way up into it. 
So while the entrance pit here is about 100 feet, the total verter, verter, vertical <laughs> extent of this cave is 196 feet. So from where I'm standing right here, this cave goes 196 feet deep below the surface. Pretty cool. Pretty deep cave.